Mustafa Sarwar Faruqi didn't think he'd end up somewhat of an ambassador. But by taking his movies to festivals abroad, he's become a representative of Bangladeshi film to the rest of the world. Faruqi and his filmmaker friends are calling themselves the Bangladeshi New Wave. Right now, we, we can't call it a big movement, but I, I can smell that it is brewing. I can smell that it is growing. You know, if you, if you look at the pipeline, if you look at the uh, filmmakers in the pipeline who are working in videos for, uh, who are making telefilms for television, if I look at them, I, I, can, see, I can see, you know, the possibilities. I can see, see uh, immense talent there. Faruqi is at the center of the Bangladeshi film industry's search for its own identity. His films are praised here for their modern approach to depicting Bangladeshi society. Mainstream Bangladeshi films are usually very different, full of song and dance, copying heavily from the Bollywood formula that's proved so successful in neighboring India. While the so-called Bangladeshi new wave still can't match the box office favorites of the country's more traditional musical melodramas, they have started drawing larger crowds. Faruqi says the future is bright, thanks to the emergence of a young, savvy audience that's more tuned in to what he and his colleagues are trying to do. Films by Faruqi are luring middle-class Bangladeshis back to the theater. Many had ignored local movies, turning instead towards the foreign fare being offered on cable television. Me and my friends didn't watch Bangladeshi movies before. What's special about Faruqi is the way he shows our culture the way it really is. It connects with people from my generation, and it's made us start going to cinemas. Faruqi is taking his latest movie, and Story, to the Shanghai International Film Festival, where he'll be competing with the likes of Oscar-winning director Volker Schlondorf. It's impressive company, but Faruqi hopes in the not-too-distant future, he'll be joined by many more Bangladeshi faces. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.